So there's one idea for how to stay solvent at university. Let's get some more advice for students and, of course, for their parents who often end up picking up the pieces. Uh, Dan Hawes is from the Graduate Recruitment Bureau, also with us, Wes Streeting, who's the president of the NUS. Dan, to you first of all, what do you make of the idea of Student Gem? Well, I think anything that helps uh, students prepare for the world of work has got to be a good thing. What sort of advice would you give somebody who's going to university now because obviously they want to do well in their degree but they also want to stand out when they come to apply for jobs? Well, you're there to uh, get a degree at the end of the day so that's going to take up most of your time. Uh, and standing out uh, on your CV is going to be just as important. So look for any opportunities to get work experience um, and get involved with any societies at university as well. The main thing is to look at the skills that you can get when you leave university and that can come from a variety of different things. Internships, that's something that keeps coming up, I've heard this morning, is, is people either having a year out in industry or even just during their holidays. How does that work? Yeah, in, a company will try and take on a student maybe for three months uh, or longer on an internship. And that is really as good as it gets because you get a, a bit of money, but you also learn uh, a bit about the workplace. And in some cases, the employer may take you on when you graduate. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about the students, uh, the, the debt students are facing at the moment. Uh, Wes, you're able to give us a broad figure. How much debt are the students of 2008 in? Well, for students who are paying £3,000 top-up fees in England, we estimate their debt upon graduation to be within the region of over £20,000, which is a significant investment for both individual students and their families. Is it going to get worse? Because uh, if, if the cap comes off tuition fees, we're going to be seeing enormous debts, aren't we? Well, that's certainly something to bear in mind. And next year, the government will begin a review of fees and we'll be making it very clear we need a fairer funding system and we do need to look at the significant amounts of debt that individual students are encountering and the impact that might have on whether or not they choose to go to university and, of course, what they choose to study and what they go on to do. So some really big issues that we need to tackle. And finally, do you recommend that students work through uh, their university degrees or can it compromise their degrees if they work too much? Well, I think some, some good work experience and some good skills to show off on your CV can, can only be a good thing and help you later on, but it's about striking the balance. We've lost the sound there in Birmingham, never mind. Uh, Jules will be joining us.